Let's talk about border patrol apprehensions be between ports of entry at the southwest border of terrorists. Terrorists. And I have to say, it is pretty rich hearing the gentleman from Georgia express her concern about terrorism when she literally was selling defund the FBI t-shirts and hats on her website for $30 a piece, $30 for the shirts and another $30 for the hats. You don't get both for just the $30. The leading law enforcement agency tasked with combating terrorism in this country and keeping people safe, and she wants to defund it. So I am not gonna take any lectures from her on securing this homeland from terror. Marjorie Taylor Greene gets called off for hypocrisy and her grift game all the time. But since supporters have been conditioned to ignore the obvious examples of just how insincere she is, she moves along with pure confidence in her ignorance. And there's a lot of that to go around. February 2017 to January 2021, 2,437, 856. I listened to that number being read about 12 times. I wrote it down as many ways as I could to try to understand what number was on that paper in front of her. 2,437, 856. Maybe I'm still missing something. Or maybe MAGA has transitioned to a new number system that Trump can understand. We've uh, performed 1.87 million tests today, so that's 1,870,000 million tests. Think of that. I'm thinking of it and it still doesn't make much sense. But his battle with numbers might have been a better defense in his inflated assets case in New York. But I'm sure there are plenty of people that don't mind that some of the most powerful people in our country are debating legislation with numerical evidence that doesn't exist. But it might illustrate that they just don't have the necessary education to do the job. But for us Americans, a lack of an education is only a negative when it's applied to those who we hate. In Texas, we believe we are following the Constitution. Uh, Article 4, Section 4, Article 1, Section 10, Clause 3. We have a right to defend American citizens and Texas citizens, and we're going to do it. And we're going to win at the court. We passed Senate Bill 4. I, I wrote most of that bill along with Governor Abbott, and that bill will be before the Supreme Court that says we have a right yeah to defend ourselves against invasion, because this is an invasion from third world countries. Well, they're coming here with health issues. They're uneducated, unemployed. We hear the, and all we, they do is commit crime on the streets. We hear the urgency from you. To your point, not all, uh, but certainly we yes, have. They're uneducated, they're unemployed, and all they do is commit crimes. The lieutenant governor of Texas has the right to believe all that migrants do is commit crimes, but isn't it unnerving that someone with blanket beliefs like that has the power to put those false beliefs into law? It makes them feel justified in their unwillingness to attempt to do something about the border problem. The height of stupidity is having a strong opinion on something you know nothing about. I'm, I'm extremely disappointed in the very strange maneuvering by many on the right to, to, to torpedo uh, a potential border reform bill. If we have a bill that on net significantly decreases illegal immigration, and we sabotage that. That is, that is inconsistent with what we told our voters we would do. People will make up whatever reasons they, they want to. There's a number of them, I'm sure. But it would be a, a pretty unacceptable dereliction of, of your duty. And the question is, where does this go from here? The negotiators in the Senate are still hoping to put out text of this deal as soon as this week. That is what Senator James Langford told reporters earlier today. And, I, and Chris Murphy, one of those three negotiators, said it makes no sense in his view for Republicans to walk away from this deal after cutting, after trying to strike one for months and months and months. But that is exactly what they're weighing right now in the upper echelons of the Senate GOP, saying, what is the point of going forward with this mm -hmm. deal if it's going to get killed? in the house so while Marjorie Taylor Greene sells t-shirts and hats and Lieutenant Governor Dan Padgett promotes his generalizations about every migrant the issues at the southern border remain purely political but for the sake of the one guy that told Republicans to sabotage everything because to them he's still the president by the way we can't pass a bill that possibly would make it harder for Trump to do his job well you Trump know that's what the language is going to be this Absolutely. is how it's always written and it was written by Schumer's people I understand